So it's about Nokia drone networks, it's about industrial devices, it's about ADL transport network. It's, it's, it's not only about one technology anymore. So it's about so many technologies that Nokia is positioning here at the booth at Critical Communications World 2023 in Helsinki. Uh, well, this is Nokia land, so we should take the benefit out of that. Chris, great to be here at Nokia. Um, Lots of things are changing in our industry. Lots of things are changing within Nokia. Take a look at the colors. Yeah. Bright colors for a bright future, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, and before uh, before we go into that, I'd just say we're super proud to be hosting the CCW, you know, the world's most prominent critical communications event here in Finland, our home. Uh, and yeah, as the primary technology vendor in, in Finland, uh, delighted to be here. Our new colorful brand, really now focusing on enterprise and B2B as a primary growth focus. So uh, a, a big change for us and a very positive one well received I would yeah, say. Exactly. So let's take a look and pick the brain of Arnaud Lagrand to understand the Nokia proposition here at Critical Communications World. Are you ready? Yes I am. Okay. Arnaud is ready. I'm ready. So we're here at Nokia Arnaud just like yes, last I, year. I but have. <laughs> but now in your, we're in your home country, right? Yes. And you, you guys have created a fantastic large booth and a little smaller booth at Critical Communications Finland, right? So you get a small booth as well. Yes, uh, we are there on the Finnish pavilion because we are also, as you said, a Finnish company. So it's important for us to be part of this ecosystem of the Finnish mission critical communication industry. Well, with my introduction, I talked about all of the sections that you have on the booth. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know, where we used to talk about only about the radio. Nowadays, we talk about so many things that are complementary to critical communications, specifically with data, right? Exactly. So Dat data is opening a bit the world if you, if you want in terms of services and application that uh, first responder or mission critical industries will be able to use. Uh, and what we wanted to showcase this year is obviously our networking portfolio, our mission critical broadband portfolio. And we are introducing some interesting uh, solution here yeah, exactly. at, at, at the show. And I'd like to show some of them for, All right. to you. Okay. But we are also showing application, how you can leverage the network to really change the way first responders will act and operate in the future. Okay, let's see how they will act and operate in the future. Let's take the camera. Let's go around and see what, what, what is out there. So where would you go first? Maybe you were mentioning this uh, little uh, booth yes. here yes. on the Critical uh, Communication Finland pavilion. Yes. And I think we have here a first step toward the metaverse. All right. That we are enabling and we are showcasing there. And that's... Uh, these two demos, which are very interesting, they, they are called real-time extended reality multimedia. And basically what we are doing, we are using 360 cameras and, and um, uh, let's say, spatial audios in order to allow people which are remote to feel as if they were on site. Oh, wow. This is... This you is, can turn around. I can... You can see everything. Wait a minute, this is, this is the exhibition area that has not yeah. yet been finished, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so this is my first meta experience actually then. One thing is to see as if you were there, yes. but you need to be able to hear as if you were on site. Okay, so you have headset for me. So we have a, I have a headset <laughs> for you. It's, it's always fun at the Nokia booth, <laughs> there's always something going on actually. We are demonstrating here uh, spatial audio communication. It's going to be a future standard. In, in mobile industry and, and, and this is uh, our end-to-end -end demonstration for uh, spatial communication. Oh wow! <laughs> How would I describe this? Because this is... <laughs> it, it, it looks like I've been there yep. and, and you're so much involved in what's going on that it feels strange in the tummy. <laughs> um, so I, so where, so how does this help in critical communications? It, it helps in a, in a way that, that uh, we can, because we can control spatial audio, we can, we can also do it in such a way that if we have a group communication type of situation, the same, same experience that you felt is here in the middle, but then we can have traditional uh, voices uh, kind of a, play to you in the direction. So if this is mapped uh, to location of persons or, or some uh, robots or whatever, 
you hear them where they are. So, oh, that that is kind of interesting. So, so, but, so, but there's more to just talk, push and talk, right? Exactly. No, but the idea is to create, you know, to really. Again, there are dangerous situations. Deep tech first responders, tech firefighters. They might have to operate in very dangerous uh, situations. Yes. You send a robot, and with this kind of experience, the guy which is standing a bit behind, okay, he can experience, he can understand what's going on there. Again, it will really improve the situational awareness. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That's so, a bit the the idea which okay. is behind, right. behind what you saw. Exactly. Now, what I would like to show you also is an. Uh, Innovation we are uh, introducing also, we just launched it, relaunched it uh, beginning of this month of May. It's a Nokia drone solution and we sold it actually and we should appear, uh, it was last week. 68 units, right? Something like that? We and sold it in Belgium it and they want to use it City Mesh, yes. for, the oh, yeah, through City Mesh and they want to use it for the first responders. The okay. whole idea there is there is an emergency, boom. They're gonna send the, the drone beyond line of sight. You can send the drone, uh, and the drone will go there. It will stream information directly back to the to back to the firefighters or the police guys, so, so that so, they are uh, able to anticipate what's going okay. on. Okay. Are you going to implement AI in that drone? And there are yeah, yes, because the stream also we have AI and we have analytics in order to do some uh, some okay. capability to analyze exactly the information. And uh, so this right. can be integrated, obviously, we have an open API framework in order to integrate this solution into existing command and control center. Okay. All right. So next step. I'm next. Very, next I'm really excited. So you see uh, lots of uh, interesting applications yes. to show what are the possibilities that this data world is opening. Important as well is uh, obviously the network because you need a mission critical broadband network in order to support this nice uh, nice use case and application. And that's Band 68, right? Yeah. Alors, here we are showing, you know, uh, live Band 68. Band 68 is a band which has been adopted by many countries across Europe for public safety. And we are showcasing our group communications, our mission critical push to talk, push to video over band 68. Okay. okay. Shall we give it a try? Yeah, it's it's uh, exactly it's. Uh, so we didn't we didn't prepare for this one, so we just give it a try. <laughs> so you push on the button, you directly have a video stream. You have the video stream, so right. it's shared. Okay, so it's open. It's, a, it's, it's, and it's open for yeah. And I stop it and I stop the call. Okay, so it's typical. Mission, mission critical push to talk, push to video. And we are, uh, let's say, putting the ecosystem together. We are working with the ecosystem to enable and make it possible so that the, the, the first responder can use these bands across Europe, for instance, and other countries. Okay. okay. All right. So it was a world first, and it, it's important uh, to mention that. We're back at the things that where we started some time ago, uh, actually, about the deployable systems. Now. The, what what strikes me is that that deployable system has become even smaller. It is even smaller. It's exactly. A, it's the smallest version for Nokia I've ever seen so far. <laughs> yes, because uh, yeah, we know that uh, that's the kind of system you put in a backpack. Yes, that exactly. That we are doing there, and and it, what is interesting is that it has it support as well mesh networking, so you can really interconnect these different bubbles. Yes. In case of uh, re-operation in very, very difficult area, difficult to reach area. Okay, can, can you hold the camera for me for a second? Yeah. I'm going to check out because that's kind of important how wide yeah. this is. Sorry guys, I need to disturb you for one second. Is that okay? So, so can I, can I take this up? You can with take one it, hand? you can take it, but... Uh, I can take it up with one single hand. No. So, <laughs> No, but it is it is important, you know. It is a mock -up, so not it's a heavy rack. No, 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 it's not no, no. a heavy rack anymore. It, it's become lighter. One thing that I'd like to show you as yes. well, if you can come with me, yes, and follow me. And we are introducing a new core network today, today at the show at the CCW event. All right. Which is really a dedicated core network, which has been uh, defined to address this kind of specific public safety or utilities that needs to have wide area networks, so potentially a nationwide coverage, but they have not the same, you know, they don't have the same number of subscribers as uh, mobile operators, for instance. So they need a much more compact and integrated solution. And that's what we are basically introducing this year at the show as well. But there's one single thing left, and that's 
It's called Agile Transport Network. Yeah. Great name, but what's in what's in what's in the name? Remember, yeah, that um, you need to interconnect to build these networks. The base station through the core networks I was just showing you before. So that's the role of this transport network, and it needs to be very agile because it needs to be to deliver the bandwidth, the capacity that is needed wherever it's needed. On that topic, uh, there are two gentlemen that can tell me all about that, and one gentleman is Nikolai and I can't pronounce his surname. Nikolai Borschner. <laughs> Hi. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so HL Transport Network. Yeah, it's a, uh, here we present Nokia Agile Transport Network, which can build over optical domain, over IP, can span even over microwave if you don't have a fiber. The main focus of our solution to make this network extremely robust and to make all uh, easy operationable. We have a unique management system which covers IP, optic, data center and microwave providing cross-domain coordination. But I also do see a microwave there and that's not for nothing, right Massimiliano? Exactly, exactly. The yeah. microwave is uh, necessary for this uh, protection as uh, Nikolai said. We will just say one thing. The protection here seems to be uh, physical, but also in the air, we have the protection thanks to the microwave, which is protected in the transmission. So even if you cannot touch, you will be protected, for sure. Thomas Rayberg, thank you very much for having me here just a few minutes uh, before the end of the show, actually. Um, I wanted to discuss with you about changes in our industry. Um, when I look at the Nokia booth, there are so many new things that, that came to my mind, actually, that are so important for critical communications. But new things mean also that you have to build trust with, with the end user, because the end user is used to something that is working, that is probably working for a long, long, long time, for many years, and now they see all of this new technology. How do you cope with that? Yeah, the trust building is absolutely needed because without the trust, why should they move, right? Uh, and trust building first starts with listening to the people. We need to take their requirements very, very serious. Also because broadband, if we want to deploy it in reasonable time, will also ask for sharing resources. This is new to this community. They never had this before. But here with broadband networks, when we reuse MNO networks, when you are on, all on the same network, then trust building comes first because before uh, people would be willing uh, to also share their requirements with others which are on the same network. Uh, without this, I think um, we will have big time difficulties um, for to um, also motivate users to go down this road. So first comes trust building. It's not about just introducing a new technology. The trust building is way much more important uh, as just the migration of a network. So how do you build trust? We build trust at, uh, just like we do here at the booth, right? We are not only showing network uh, kind of equipments. We are also investing in innovating use cases. We are showing them ideas that they can do on top of the network, not forgetting about their typical use cases. You see it with push to talk, push to video, this is uh, a must-have, this is uh, what they do today. But uh, when we go for broadband, this cannot be for voice only. If it would stay voice only, it would be a waste. There are other things to come, things that are new to them. So we need to explain this. We need also to listen. What are their concerns? What are their demands? And this is what Nokia is doing. So what is the real core message that you want to, to, to spread? Well, the core message is unchanged. I think the, this industry is evolving towards 3GPP-based uh, solution to drive this revolution or uh, revolution in the way to, to operate. And, and we are here to help and help the industry, help our customers move in that direction. Okay, Arnold, that, that was kind of extremely interesting. There's so much going on that I really wonder what, what comes next, right? Next year in Dubai. What we should do is meet again in 2024 at Critical Communication World in Dubai. See you next year in Dubai. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye.